Hey everybody, it's Jason Fraser and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so a big thank you. I've got over 8,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Mwah. Lots of lots of love. So today's video, I thought I would explore gay dating apps. Now, we all know this gay dating app, Grindr. So I thought I'd chuck that out of the way and we are going to do alternative gay dating apps. There we go. So the first one on my list is an app called Scruff. Now, this is a great little app if you are into bears and jocks. This app is definitely for you. You can have private albums, you can search for people based in a specific area. Scruff is all about this thing called Scruff Venture and it's all based around on gay travel. Uh, finding destinations, um, connecting with people that are traveling to and from a certain area in the world and yeah, all in all a great app. I rated a 7 out of 10. You do find the odd little twink on the app though. That was me. Uh, because I had to go into it and I had to create a portfolio profile. So, <laughs> so the next app is called Hornet. Now, Hornet, oops. <laughs> if you're into more than just a gay dating app, then Hornet is for you. It is basically a social networking platform for bi, gay, and curious men. Hornet allows you to have public and private photos, which is always a good thing. What I love about the app is that when you start creating your profile, it actually asks you for your HIV status. Whether you choose to disclose that or not is up to you, but it tells me that this app is a good promoter of sexual health and it encourages you to find out about your HIV status if you don't know it already. It's much like Grindr in the sense that you don't match with anybody, you find people based on your location, uh, but like Scruff as well, you can actually search for specific places. So if you're going to Australia, you can see how the talent is down under. I rate Hornet an 8 out of 10. Next app is called OkCupid. Now OkCupid screams romance to me. A lot of serious guys looking for serious things and, and real serious profiles, which is great. OkCupid is easy to browse through and it's easy to create a profile, which is a big plus. Although not specific to the gay and lesbian community, it is used by a lot of straight people. Uh, you can upload multiple photos, but it is very similar to the Tinder app where you get to swipe left, swipe right. I give OkCupid a 7 out of 10. Next one is Surge. Now Surge is a really simple and clean app. It is more of a relationship app, I guess. Um, well, that's what it comes across. It's very classy. The, the app is stylish. I guess that's why I like the app. It does match you based on people, on, on other people's interests, which is pretty cool. And it does give their location as well. So it's sort of like an all-in-one. It's also on that Tinder vibe, swipe left, swipe right. And what I love about the app is that when you actually match with someone, it gives you a little nudge in terms of a conversation starter. So um, the one that I love the most is it will actually say, break the ice and let's have drinks. So, and you can send that to the person, the, the guy that you match with, uh, which is pretty cool. So it might come across as a bit corny, but if you're not used to starting a conversation, then Surge offers it for you, which is great. Uh, so Surge, I award an 8 out of 10. Next app is called Jacked. Now, Jacked was a weird little app. Um, I struggled to get it working at first, but once I did, I found it um, quite similar to Grindr, very basic, 
but you can add a lot more photos. It does offer a matching service with Jacked, which is pretty cool, I guess, um, but very United States based. So big ups to America. There's a lot of you using Jacked, not so many using Jacked in the United Kingdom. Uh, Jacked, the app doesn't take itself too seriously. They did an awesome little video and I'll link it in the description box below. Um, and you can go and check that out. It's just something funny and quirky. Um, so overall, I'll give Jack a five out of 10, only because I didn't, I struggled to get it like working at first. You guys can maybe tell me different if you guys love Jack as an app. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it, share it. Um, and I want to know what gay dating apps you guys are using. I hope that some of these apps could maybe help you and hopefully potentially find you someone that you could go out and meet. It is 2016 after all. Dating apps are like the norm these days. I shall see you beautiful people next week. Bye! All that I have is all that I can give I'm aimed at your heart and I swear on